Ciao a tutti! Hello everyone! Welcome to Fly High, where you're gonna be flying high in language learning with me, Francesca. <laughs> and James. And here we are, welcome to this uh, second episode of our pronunciation series that this time we have uh, dedicated to pizza types. Okay. So what we will be doing in this lesson, we're gonna be seeing the most popular uh, Italian pizza types, mm -hmm. most popular Italian pizzas basically, and we're going to be looking at how we pronounce them correctly and I'll give you a few uh, curious facts. Curiosità. Uh, curiosità. <laughs> yes, like some mystery and uh, um, just in general we'll be seeing uh, what these pizzas are. Um, exactly. And uh, yes, yeah, so if you guys are ready then, let's explore them together. What is the main, what's the most popular pizza in the world? Um, oh, oh, pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza. Are you The blasphemous pizza in the world. Um, margherita. Margherita. Yeah. La margherita. We, call, we can simply call it la margherita. Mm -hmm. Or la pizza margherita, la margherita, in this, the tomato and cheese. Ah, uh, the tomato and cheese. Okay, pizza. I've got a question. Is it actually named after a person called Margherita? Margherita, yes. Margherita, Margherita means Margaret or Daisy. Daisy is also the flower, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what, it, that's what it translates as Margherita. And uh, there's this tradition that's like, uh, it's a widespread belief, really, mm -hmm. more than we don't know if it was actually that way mm. or uh, not. But this pizzaiolo, this pizza maker, uh, the end of the 19th century, uh, what did he do? He created this pizza, okay? Um, and it was a, um, the name of the pizza place was Pizzeria Brandi, okay? Mm. And uh, yeah, he created this pizza in honor of the queen of Naples, mm. Margherita, the queen Margherita oh, of Savoy, yes. Yeah. So, that's how, uh, that's why it was named Margherita for her, basically, it was created in her honor. And uh, uh, did you notice anything about the toppings? You guys notice, what are the to toppings of Margherita? Um, so, you so go. Obviously, you get the base. The base yeah, is yeah, it. Yeah, normal um, brown color, whatever. Yeah. And then, then you got the sauce, which is a red. Yes, tomato. Yeah, tomato, yeah. yeah. And then you have the cheese, which you could say yellowish or uh, white. Yes, yeah, so if you use mozzarella, that's the actual cheese that you should be using for margarita. Mozzarella yeah, is a white. good pure white, yeah, really. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then yeah. you got some um, basil leaves. So they're yes, they just put on like some fresh basil leaves. Yeah. And uh, what are these colors? Um, uh, and, oh, uh, is it Italian flag? Yes, so okay. it's Italian flag. Yes, so oh, that's, uh, that's why, you know, red, because uh, Italy at that time, at the end of the 19th century, mm -hmm. had just been unified. So there had been a war, mm. and uh, yes, so uh, also after the unification, they're just like a nice uh, Italian, like patriotic uh, mm -hmm. sentiment, so, basically. So after the war, Guy made a pizza, named after the Queen. Yes. Boom, Italian pizza. Yes, yes, dish. Margherita. Mm. Yes, Margherita. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a nice, that's a nice history behind yeah, it, yeah. maybe. And another very famous pizza is the four cheese pizza. That it's pronounced quattro formaggi, four cheese. So you want to say? Okay. Quattro. Quattro. Quattro formaggi. Formaggi. It's got two G's, you see? Formaggi, cheeses. Eh? Four cheeses. So, quattro, quattro formaggi. formaggi. Yes, okay, this is another right. very popular one. And the cheeses, you probably want to know, like, what are the cheeses that we use? Okay. Do you know? Like, do you think you know what, you know, cheeses you use? Cheddar. Like, Red Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, no. Uh, so, okay, so you got uh, mozzarella. Mozzarella, okay. yeah, classic, yeah. Uh, what's up? Cheese called again. Um, gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. Yes, gorgonzola. Um, yeah. And you got. Uh, oh, parmigiano. Yeah, parmigiano. Okay. Parmigiano reggiano. And then you got a type, the four cheese is generally a melting type cheese. Okay, okay. cheese that melts. 
and generally Italians use fontina, fontina that you see here, for example, fontina. It's like, to be honest, it's quite similar to cheddar, mm. uh, fontina that you mentioned, since yeah, you mentioned. Cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, which is nice, melts and yeah. gives some good flavor because it's quite, mm -hmm. uh, fontina is mild, but at the same time, it's like a medium um like in terms of uh, you know like a cheddar not too mild yeah yeah just a okay taste. yeah so it's gives a nice and it melts but with but this for cheese do they spread it all around do they doing quadrants or no yeah they usually put them like uh you know mozzarella and cheese the base mm. still you know and then some gorgonzola here and there like that and then you know parmesan you grate it on yeah, yeah. you grate the parmesan and then the uh, fontina or the melting cheese uh, you, you spread it all around okay. yeah you don't really like separate it into sections mm -hmm. because this takes us to our uh, next pizza okay. uh, the four seasons not the, the uh, four seasons <laughs> four, <laughs> four seasons <laughs> landscaping <laughs> Okay. No, not that one. So, quattro stagioni is the uh, four season. So, quattro, mm -hmm. four seasons is stagioni. You want to pronounce it? Okay. Quattro uh, stagioni. Stagioni. Quattro stagioni. Mm, stagioni. It's okay. plural. Quattro stagioni. <laughs> there we go. Quattro stagioni. Don't let me get my stereotypical Italian pronunciation. Quattro. Okay. Quattro. Stagioni. Stagioni. I need, okay. to, I need to uh, improve on my quattro. Uh, it's quite hard to pronounce, to yeah. be honest. It's the quattro, the two T's and the R. I don't know if you guys uh, are trying as well at home to pronounce it well. So, quattro, quattro stagioni. Mm -hmm. And, yes, yeah, so what we were, what, what we were saying about this is that um, in the four cheese, for instance, mm -hmm. you just put the, you know, the, the cheeses on top. Like, they all get spread out yeah, quite nicely yeah. on the pizza. In the quattro stagioni, the four seasons, Instead, the pizza is uh, sectioned, basically. It's divided into four sections. Oh, so that's the quattro. The quattro, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, um, four main sections, and the toppings are all separate, okay? okay? Nice, nice. So you got a base, the base is tomato, and uh, uh, mozzarella, some mozzarella, yes. So um, that's the base that occupies the whole pizza. Mm -hmm. But then one section of the pizza has got mushrooms, mm -hmm. Another section, another quarter, basically, of the pizza has got olives or it's got um, prosciutto, which is a uh, ham. Mm -hmm. Then you got another section that has got artichokes. Artichokes, yeah. Yes, those and very, like, very big in Italy, mm -hmm. artichokes. And then the other section with extra uh, mozzarella and uh, tomatoes. So, why is it? Because the mushrooms, so it's called for seasons. Yeah, yeah. So it wants to resemble the seasons. So mushrooms for the fall. Yeah. Then you got uh, the artichokes are for the spring. Mm -hmm. Then prosciutto, ham, or olives is for the winter. Mm -hmm. And then the tomatoes, obviously, it's a mozzarella. Thing, yeah, summer thing, holiday. yes, yeah. so summer food, right? So, yeah, that's why it gets uh, split, get all like separate sections. Yeah. It's quite nice because, you know, you uh, can have a little bit of one, a little bit. Seems like you're eating four different types yeah, of pizzas. Yeah. Obviously, the mushrooms are uh, so big in Italy anyway. Yes, People yes. go hunting in forestries for them. So, yeah, yeah. I guess that's a big thing in fall. Yeah. And it, as, you, as you mentioned, then obviously, you've got the vines and things in the summer for uh, tomatoes and obviously you know, grapes and all that as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And now, uh, they are big, yeah. And uh, another pizza that we have uh, that is very popular is called Capricciosa. That's a difficult one. Never heard of it. Capricciosa. You never heard of it? No. Uh, you guys heard of Capricciosa? Let me know in the comments. It seems more it's, like uh, a... Uh, famous where you are or not. Type of hot drink, coffee. <laughs> no, Capriccio, Capriccio. <laughs> Capricciosa. Capricciosa means uh, whimsical mm. or it means extravagant. Capricciosa. Okay. Yes. Uh, we also say this this term like capricciosa or capriccioso for a nail uh, for a little kid that, that is like oh se capriccioso they're doing like a little bit of um, you know having like a moment basically yeah, the kids yeah. uh, capriccio, che bambino capriccioso oh, oh, having a tantrum or, yeah oh, sort okay. of like sort of yes so capricci is like when uh, yeah but yeah capricciosa uh, it's the same as the four mm. seasons but on the capricciosa, so the toppings are put all together, so they oh, all okay. mixed up. So it's not it's not in four, uh, yeah, four yeah, yeah. separate sections, sections basically. Well, that gives all up the together. whimsical effect of it. Then. Yes, that's yeah. why all the toppings on. And if you think about it, the toppings are quite 
uh, separate, like not separate, they're all like quite different in mm-hmm. taste, like uh, artichokes. Artichokes and mushrooms go really well together, yeah. but then there's ham and the olives and the tomatoes, so you know, all of them then very nice as well in terms of like color yeah, and sound, bet, yeah, really. Yeah. And uh, then we have another very famous pizza in Italy, but not as popular abroad, it's called Marinara. Marinara, and you guys probably know, oh, my Marinara, we know Marinara. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. So, what you know <laughs> is Marinara, Marinara, you generally know Marinara is a sauce, as mm. a tomato sauce. Don't you know Marinara is a sauce? Yeah, 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 well? yeah. Yeah, right, not as a pizza. No. So, um, what is Marinara, especially in the US, Marinara sauce uh, is like a tomato sauce, right? Yeah, so, a yeah. simple tomato sauce that you can also put on pizza or you can do a pasta with it, okay? So that's a sauce for in the jar, mm. that's a marinara. Our pizza instead, the marinara, la pizza marinara, mm. is a pizza that has got only tomato sauce on top and then extra virgin olive oil, mm. oregano, okay, okay yeah. and some salt and so on. And uh, yeah, so that's simple, simple red like pizza really, like and you don't normally find it abroad because so no people want yeah, people want cheese, yeah, people want, okay. cheese, yeah, people yeah. want uh, they think, oh, am I ordering just a pizza with some tomato sauce on top? Yeah, yeah. So it's not that popular uh, abroad, but it's quite popular, uh, especially around Naples mm. and so uh, it's quite big uh, a pizza just like you know, a marinara. Yeah. And we have we do have a pasta la marinara. Marinara means uh, by the way, it means mariner style. Mm-hmm. Mar- marina marinaio in uh, Italian is a sailor. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, makes sense. Yeah, feels like yeah, marine, maritime. Yeah. Know. And uh, we have a pasta, the pasta alla marinara mm-hmm. is a pasta that comes with tomato sauce, but the main thing is that it's got some shellfish or uh, some olives, so mm-hmm. that's a different really, it's quite different yeah, yeah. than, you know, like... As you say, it's still what, things from the, the sea anyway, yeah. being put in this dish, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. so marinara, exactly, yeah. And mm. another very famous pizza um, is the prosciutto e funghi. Mm. You want to try the prosciutto? Prosciutto funghi. Prosciutto e funghi, yeah. Prosciutto is the ham and funghi is, uh, you know, funghi? Mushrooms. Mushrooms, yeah. yes. Funghi is mushrooms, so they're very, as we were saying, they're very big in Italy, mushrooms. And the main, uh, um, the ones that are really big are porcini mushrooms. Mm. They're very nice, very earthy uh, taste. And they usually we have them in the dry form. Huh? Yeah. Okay, mm. in the dry form that, you know, we've... We put them in water, we soak in water for a few hours, they get nice and soft and ready for cooking. Mm-hmm. And those are the ones that we use in the prosciutto funghi when we want to especially give it pizza a nice kick. Yeah, no, there, nice is, kick. there is a difference. Yeah, use, absolutely. So. But in the lack of those mushrooms, if you don't have those mushrooms, some restaurants just want to make things a little bit cheaper. <laughs> uh, they do use like the white, the normal white sliced mushrooms. Standard and so, mainstream mushrooms. Yes, yeah. those ones. And uh, Italians call those mushrooms champignons, so they call the, they call them in the French uh, oh, way. French way. Yeah, oh. yeah, for some reason. And uh, we're gonna have another pizza that is very popular. And this is very curious, I think, mm. in comparison to you know outside Italy, uh, la diavola, la diavola. Mm, what does it remind you of? Devil. Devil. Mm, uh, diablo yes. or something. Like Diab- yeah. the diablo in yeah. yes, Spanish. Yes. So diavola uh, means. Uh, Devil. So you got yes. the devil's pizza. <laughs> yeah, diavolo is devil. Ah. Diavola is a pizza, pizza diavola, so with an A mm. at the end, so uh, pi- no, devil pizza, oh. basically. <laughs> yeah, pizza la diavola, la, di- mm. la diavola, the devil. And um, wha- like how, uh, is he, uh, how is he known, like this one, it's a spicy pizza mm. uh, that um, has the equivalent pepperoni pizza. Oh, okay, that's exactly. how it's known. Okay. Yes, yeah, pepperoni, but... Uh, it's not exactly the same. So it's got this, sal- this spicy salami on top. It's not pepperoni. Pepperoni is not an Italian thing. Okay. What you guys call it but pepperoni. It sounds Italian. It's like it's a spicy yeah. meat, uh, like it's uh, slicing, like rounds, like yeah. that's what pepperoni is. But we don't have a pepperoni. We don't have pepperoni in Italy. Mm-hmm. We have spicy salami. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a um, spicy salami. Okay. So salami piccante, we call it spicy mm-hmm. salami. So that's what we use on top of the diavola. Mm-hmm. We always obviously tomato sauce and, uh, and mozzarella and cheese, you know. But uh, yeah, that's what it's called pepperoni in the um, outside. And as well, uh, pepperoni, it's a, it's a made up 
I can talk oh, Italian. <laughs> but we did what, it again. yeah, what comes mm. up like in the term here, we have pepperoni. We want the only mm. pepperoni is peppers in Italy. It's a vegetable. It's a oh, vegetable. Okay. Peppers. Yeah. So that's a So if you go to Italy and say to yourself, Oh, I want a pepperoni pizza and you go, Can I get a pepperoni pizza? Yeah, if you say pepperoni pizza in Italian, you're gonna say, Oh, the like pizza maker Oh, does he want it? You want a pizza with peppers on? Yeah, yeah. Like they're not you if you want a pizza with the pepperoni, like the meat that you call pepperoni that doesn't exist in Italy, mm -hmm. you like to say a pizza with salame piccante or a diavola. Oh, diavola, yeah, you're yeah. gonna order a diavola mm -hmm. to have the resemblance to a pepperoni yeah, pizza. Yeah, it's still yeah. gonna be a little bit different, the mm -hmm. spicy salami, the salame piccante is not the same as the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, yeah, this uh, yeah, yeah, concludes yeah. the lesson then. How did you find uh, all the pizza types and so on? Yeah, it's nice to uh, learn a little bit of the history about it actually, especially with Margarita. Yeah, it's a yes. bit more of a patriotic feel. Yeah, it's very nice, really. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And obviously, it's, as you said, it's the famous, uh, most famous pizza really. It's one of the simplest, obviously, apart from Marinara. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and it has a little bit of a quirky backstory to it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did you guys found it? So uh, if you enjoyed this content, please let us know in the comment section down below. And also uh, just give us a like and subscribe for more of these that uh, are uh, coming soon. <laughs> yeah, so good old <laughs> little, Fox, yeah. Good old Fox, yeah. A bit and uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned then guys and we'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you James and ciao! Ciao! ciao, ciao. ciao. ciao.